I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but it's been tough trying to figure out what the best way to run this gem of a game on Mac is. So to anybody who's been waiting for this tutorial, thank you very much for your patience. This video is for all the Zoo Tycoon gamers out there. So it turns out we can run Zoo Tycoon 2 on both Apple Silicon Macs and Intel Macs. When it comes to running Zoo Tycoon on Apple Silicon, our options are either Parallels 19 or VMware. Parallels costs $130 after a 14-day trial, but is a breeze to get working and has a very user-intuitive interface. VMware is free, but much more difficult to set up. I'll be using Parallels in this video. On an Intel Mac, we can use Crossover 23 to run the game. Crossover costs $75 after the 14-day trial expires. It's possible that Zoo Tycoon 2 may work through the free Mac app Whiskey, but that hasn't been tested yet. In this video, we'll run the game using Crossover 23. Regardless of what method you use, you'll need the Zoo Tycoon 2 Ultimate Collection EN game folder to run this game. This folder comes with the widescreen hack already included and is the easiest way for us to run the game. Let's check out how to run the game with Apple Silicon first. So to install Parallels, we're going to Google Parallels Mac, go to Parallels.com, click Try Free, and then Download Trial. Go to your Downloads folder, double-click the Install Parallels DMG, and then double-click the installer to open it. Once installed, open Parallels, and it's going to ask if we want to download and install Windows 11. And we do, so click Install Windows. I don't need camera access, so I'm just going to hit OK here. And I'm going to let the Windows setup do its thing. Once the installer finishes, you'll now have a working copy of Windows 11 on your Mac. So I'm on my Apple Silicon Mac, and I have Windows running through Parallels now. The first thing we're going to do is install DirectX. There's a download link in the video's description. Click the link, click download, and then open the file. Accept the agreement, we don't need to install the Bing bar. And when it's done, hit finish. Next, we want to get that Zoo Tycoon 2 Ultimate Collection Windows EN zip file on our desktop. Once it's on our desktop, we're going to double click it to unzip it, and we're going to drag the Zoo Tycoon folder onto our desktop. Once the Zoo Tycoon folder is copied to your desktop, double click it to open. Open the Game Files folder, scroll down, and find the ZT application. Click it once, right click, go to Properties, and go to Compatibility. Select Run This Program in Compatibility Mode 4. And in the drop-down menu, select Windows XP Service Pack 3. Next, hit Apply, and then OK. Now let's right-click the ZT application file again, hit Show More Options, and click Create Shortcut. Lastly, I'm going to drag the shortcut onto my desktop so it's easy to get to. Now let's double-click the shortcut to launch. Take note that the game may freeze for around 20 seconds during the intro video. Next, let's set up Zoo Tycoon 2 with an Intel Mac. Once you have the Zoo Tycoon 2 Ultimate Collection Windows Edition on your desktop, it's time to install Crossover 23. Go to your web browser and search Crossover Mac. Go to CodeWeavers.com, select Mac OS, and hit Free Trial. Scroll down and enter your name and email. Once the download is complete, Go to your Downloads folder and unzip the Crossover file. Once unzipped, drag the Crossover application into your Applications folder. Go to your Applications folder and double-click the Crossover application to open it. Once open, go to the top menu bar, select Bottle, and click New Bottle. Let's name it Zoo Tycoon 2. Make sure the bottle type is Windows 10 64-bit and hit Create. Now we have our Zoo Tycoon 2 bottle. Make sure it's selected, and then select Install Application into Bottle. Search the word Modern, and select DirectX for Modern Games. Then hit Install. When the installer pops up, hit Yes, Accept, and wait for the installer to finish. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. Alright, now we're ready to run Zoo Tycoon. So let's unzip the zip file on our desktop. Next, in Crossover, click Run Command and then Browse. Next, select Desktop or wherever your Zoo Tycoon folder is. 
open the folder, open the game files folder, and scroll down to zt.exe. Select it and hit open. Next, click Save Command as a launcher, which will allow us to easily launch the game moving forward. Now hit Run to launch the game.